All right, what's going on dudes and welcome back to Minecraft Modded Survival. For about the past half an hour or so, I've been farming up some Uvite souls. The only reason I chose not to live stream it is because the episode that went up before this one, at the time of my recording this right now, that's not actually up yet. So if I live stream this, it would have given up some spoilers and whatnot. And also the fact that it probably would have ended up to be a very short live stream because I'm trying to stock up on some videos for while I'm out of town. So I would have just collected the souls and that would have been it. So. Anyway, I assure you, I have actually killed monsters in order to get the uh, the Uvite souls. You can check my, my sword durability. It's gone down quite significantly. Basically, my strategy has just been to uh, stand sort of on the edge, or, or fly, I should say, hover <laughs> right off the edge of, of um, a, a cliff. And uh, then because these guys are basically programmed to um, not walk off the edge to their death, they will simply stand there, and I can keep hitting them. They'll, they'll keep walking back to the edge, and uh, and then I can just take them out without actually having to uh, to worry about taking any damage in return. I do have to sort of avoid the archers, though, because they will destroy me very, very easily because they take out with the, the reduced protection from the, uh, the angelic armor. I take five hearts of damage, as you saw last time, so... I have to sort of be careful. I've mostly been taking out the Cadillians and the Enchanted Warriors and uh, ignoring the other guys because the, the Tomos will just, they'll just go off the edge if I hit them. They really apparently don't have the AI to uh, prevent themselves from just going off to their death. But these guys, on the other hand, will uh, just keep coming towards me. And if I'm on the edge, then there's really nothing to worry about. So I got about 50 or so before starting up this recording. Um... And so what was I at? I was at like 71, and now I am at about 87. So yeah, um, we're actually pretty close. I should only have to kill like two or three more dudes, and then we should have enough souls in order to uh, out. Now the Cadillians are actually the uh, more difficult of the two, and I didn't realize that they will actually go off the edge. Um, yeah, because I think the horn extends their, their hitbox, so they actually have a, a greater range than these guys. But anyway, here we go, and it should just be like two more, and then we should be good to go and uh, make that mithril portal. I was about to say make that mithril porter, because I can speak good. All right, so I think I think we're good there. Um, let's see, I think my portal's right over here. If not, we can just come back in pretty quickly because I can fly around. It would be really nice if there were sort of a way to, like, I don't know, combine uh, sets of armor so you could have all the protection of, of like, the halite, but then be able to fly and stuff. That would be pretty cool. I don't know if in the in the next update they're going to be adding in, like, um, ow, 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 I didn't even see you there. Oh, my God, there's so many of them. Uh, let me just take all you out. Not a big deal or anything like that. Just two hits apiece. Two hits apiece. Ring the dinner bell. All right, there we go. Um, so yeah, I should probably get rid of my experience as well by uh, enchanting a book or something. I collected like I collected successfully without dying just because I can fly around uh, 28 levels as I was farming things up. And there's like nothing to worry about. So yeah, okay. That's 19 right there. I think <clears throat> this should amount to 90. And that it does. All right, there we go. So let's actually make what we need to make. Here we go. And um, I never I never know the best way to actually distribute these throughout the crafting table. Um, one, we want 10 a piece. So like that, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Boom. Ow. God. Ow. Ow. Why are you so intent on attacking me? Jeez. <laughs> he was so mad that I'm making another portal. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Fair enough. Whatever floats your boat, dude. Okay. So let's head back down. And now we get to make a new portal. Actually, I'm going to need the uh, the twilight clock. Fortunately, it's just so easy if I forget something to just head on back up. God, this the best armor. Seriously, like even though it doesn't offer the most protection, I don't know how I'm ever going to swap to any other armor at this point cuz it's just it's so convenient. So, okay. So, shall we do this? So, okay, it's going to be two down there. And then I think I'm just basically like 
yeah, I'm just replacing things. So here we go, and there we go, and there we go, and that should be that. Okay, let us make a new portal and go check out the awesomeness that is the mithril dimension. I hope it's awesome. I don't know for sure. Uh, that's just, I'm, I'm putting out a conjecture there that's probably pretty awesome. I don't know if um, this is going to be like one of the newly sort of, I don't know, spruced up dimensions. Because in the last update, they, they adjusted the terrain dimension, as I'd mentioned before. So anyway, we'll see. The dudes in here are probably just going to one-hit KO us. So just to be sure that I'm not putting myself at too much risk, I am simply going to enchant a book. Okay, so let's head up to the enchantment table. Look at how quickly I can just move around. It's almost as if I don't even need TP scrolls. TP scrolls? Because we're playing Dota. Um, <laughs> well, I just interjected a totally different game's terminology. Uh, we don't need teleportation command blocks. Yes. Okay. So sharpness 2. We could actually put that on... Um, we could put that on, on the, the sword. I just, eh, eh, whatever. I would prefer to put it in the in the enchantment table, but again, the only reason I haven't done that yet is because I would prefer to not get knocked back. So, all right. Anyway, let's head down, and we shall head into the very next dimension. It will be wonderful. All right, and then after this, which, I mean, dudes in this dimension are probably just going to have outrageous amounts of health. <laughs> But after we farm, actually, no, 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 no. I think we can, I think we can make the, god dang it, just let me through. There we go. I think that we can, I don't know how long this is going to take, hopefully not too long, but I think that mithril souls will allow us to make the first spawning crystal, or it might just be the base spawning crystal that we need to put in to make the other spawning crystals for the other bosses and stuff and things and stuff. I don't know. But maybe we'll be able to spawn our first, like, boss Maduhiki dude. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so this is kind of, it looks like a, oh, wow. Yep, this is definitely a revamped dimension, that's for sure. Holy crap, is are things just not loading, or uh, what's going on here? Is it all inside, or what? Yeah, it's, I guess it's all inside. Oh, my God, I'm going to have to keep track of some coordinates here, aren't I? Oh, God, that's an advanced Cory. Oh, God, that's an advanced Cory. That's not good. That's not good. He's going to, he, he will literally one-hit KO us. He will literally one-hit KO us. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's not good. All right, let me keep track of coordinates here really quickly. I'm kind of terrified right now. Just literally, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just, ah, oh god, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Okay, I've got the coordinates down. I'm just very, very worried about the advanced quarry because our armor is not that protective. Um, wow, check this place out, though, for real. This is awesome. Um... Oh, yeah, you only have 800 health. It's a good thing I can sort of float above your head and take you out. He makes the creepiest freaking noises, and I wonder, shall we do a test? How much damage do you do? Um, apparently none. Well, that just works out fine and dandy, doesn't it? I will not complain. What do you drop? Do you drop a mithril soul? I would hope so. Yes, indeed, you drop two of them. Okay, so let's check out some spawn crystals. Um, spawn... Where are you? Uh, so base spawn crystal, and that takes five mithril souls, and then what are you used in? So augites, augite, we can't do anything with augite yet. We're trying to find something that doesn't use augite. Um, soul fiend. Okay, so I can do this. I can do this. So I'm just going to kill, um, I have to kill for six, six mithril crystals, mithril souls, crystal souls, whatever. Then we'll go back to Uvite, we'll get one of these, go back to Azrite, get one of these, and then go back to Dravite, and then we can spawn uh, a boss. Cool. I am glad that we have a game plan. All right, well, let's uh, let's get this mined up. Um, I wonder, oh yeah, remember it takes forever if we're not actually standing on a platform for whatever reason. Okay, here we go. Oh, so that's not going to do much. Um, <laughs> that'll just help us for getting to the Agite dimension, but we actually, we need the souls, not the fragments, whatever. Whatever, man. It's still, we're all, we're all working towards one goal anyway, which is to get to uh, the Vithia dimension. 
All right. So how much health does the uh, the advanced Cory have? I can one hit KO him though, and I can actually fly out. Yeah. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> I totally forgot that they have such low health that if I can just avoid. Wow, the ores are everywhere though. Like that's really awesome. So, oh my god, there's another one. Okay, you need to just stop. God, if I get hit by one, I will be one hit KO'd. No! I needed him. Okay, I needed it. I needed it. <laughs> I got it, I got it. All right, advanced quarries are no more. Please don't spawn while I'm doing this, because I'm going to be stationary. I got to strafe. I got to strafe. Strafe, strafe, strafe as I'm lining this out. Oh my god. Okay, well, it seems like... Given just how this dimension generates, which is just freaking awesome, um, these ores will be very, very plentiful. In fact, maybe easier to find than uh, the souls. I don't know. It could take less work given the, the health of dudes here. Um, and just thank goodness, thank goodness that I have the angelic armor or I would just be in such a bad situation trying to actually navigate around these things. So it is a very, very good thing that we got that. <laughs> it really is. Okay. Oh my god, and these come in like bigger clusters and stuff too, and... Alright, alright. You know what? I'm gonna... F okay. After I get this vein, I'm gonna focus on getting the souls. You have my word. Because I realize this is not working our way towards the soul fiend, so... Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. How much health do you... Is that the, uh... What is that? A Samic. Um, you look like you could potentially be an NPC. Am I correct in this? No, I'm not. You're not an NPC, but you are very easy to hit, but you will fly off the map, it looks like, so I'm going to have to be careful. Hey, there's our six. Um, so I think that's all we need. Let's kill one more, just to be sure, because I'm good at math. Um, can you still not hit me, by the way? Are you still... Yeah, you're whatever. Okay, he hits me. <laughs> I got lucky that time. Well, let me just uh, do this. Put you out of your misery, sir. You're not too difficult to kill by any means. All right, so there we go. And after we take you out, we're gonna head back. Our first visit to Mithril will be somewhat short-lived, but it's for a good reason, I'd like to think. All right, come on, man. <laughs> let me just pin you up against a wall like that. Nope! Oh, God! Okay, I'm heading back up. I'm heading back up. I don't know where I am. How far down did I just fall? Where am I? Ow! Ow! What is going on? I don't understand what just happened. I'm so confused right now. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. Help me, please. 911? My emergency is I have no idea where I am right now. I think I'm flying. What are my coordinates? My Y is negative 40? What? How is that even a thing? Okay, hold on. Wow. What? Holy mother of God. I... Oh. Oh. This is a, f this is a nightmare. This is a bit of a nightmare. Ha. 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 Uh. Oh my god. I don't know what just happened, but, ah, uh, ah, uh, it's a party. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a party with that I just, yeah. <laughs> I am so confused. My frame rate also just dropped because so many mobs just spawned. It's outrageous. What? <laughs> Am I the only one who just... What the heck? Are they all frozen too? Or no, they're just... Hold on. Hello? Oh, they're not even there. That's so weird. We're exiting because I think it just bugged really hard. <laughs> what the hell just happened? That was weird. That was weird. Apparently I have to add one push-up to the total. I I don't know, it just... Uh, that was the weirdest thing that I've probably seen in Minecraft in a while. Also, I should mention that uh, Mary has escaped her, her chest cage thing. 
that was weird. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> I some I got like resurrected, but I lost a lot of gold too. How did that happen? Oh, maybe the binding of light costs a lot of gold. I don't. But why wouldn't the binding of light have done? I'm confused because it, it's like the binding of light finally worked, but it resurrected me where I should be in the void, like dead. But then I got back up and it was just, it looked like there was a freaking infestation uh, that I need to call pest control for. <laughs> God, that was so weird. Okay, so base spawn crystal is um, just five. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> let's shake that image out of our minds, why don't we? Um, so one, two, three, four, five. There we go, base spawn crystal. And then we need to, for Sulfine, let's just refresh our memory. Um, Sulfine, we need just Uvite, Azurite, and Dravite. So let's do that. We'll just get one of each, and then we'll, let's uh, pretend that, yeah, hello. Um, let's, let's just hope that when we go back next time, none of that happens. Um, I actually, you know, to be honest, I might have a uh, Dravite. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah, that's another one of our. That was Mary, but I'm. She wouldn't go through the portal. So, yep, I got confused for a second. Um, yeah. Okay. So there's soul. There's number one. I probably had some in the chest, but I just, I didn't even bother to look. So there's that. All right, and then we'll go into. I'm just. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check Azerite first to just see if we have one, and then yeah. All right. Let's see. Do we have an Azerite soul? We do not. Do we have a new? Okay, so we need both. All right, that's easy enough. Easy, easy, easy. Hopefully, Solfine can be spawned like in one of the dimensions. He just looked like he came out from nowhere. That was creepy. Um, hopefully, Solfine can be spawned in anywhere and not just because I know a lot of a lot of those bosses with the the spawn crystals can only be spawned in um, in uh, blah blah blah. Okay. <laughs> so many words. Uh, that's Dravite. Whoops. Totally forgot that. Well, there's another Dravite soul. Um, so many of them can only be spawned in, in Augite, so let's just hope that that's not the case. All right. There you go. There we go. And go back into Uvite. Uvite. I think I pronounced it every conceivable way at this point, and I have still not settled on a <laughs> way to just consistently pronounce it, but that's cool and stuff. Okay, uh, okay, get me out of the rock. Good. And one final thing over here. And then we'll be good to go, I think. Come on, portal. Do your do your action. Teleport me to the other place. Let's go, let's go. There we are. All right. And finally, we will take out one of the Twilight dudes. Twilight Warriors, or whatever they're called, Enchanted Warriors. I think that's what they're called. I'm good with names because there are so many names to keep track of. Um, maybe I should just, I'll take you out, whatever. Whatever. You're fairly easy to take out. Especially when you don't move or fight back. That works fine. All right. And that's that. So now we simply head back and uh, we make our first spawn thing doohickey. Yeah. So I think all of them take a base spawn crystal, so that means we will have to farm quite a few uh, mithril, mithril souls, but that's cool. They don't seem to be that hard to get, I guess. All right, come on, portal. Let's, let's go. <laughs> okay, back to the workbench, and we will be ready to fight. Let's do it. Okay, so it is like, how do I do this? Um... Purple, gray, blue, red. Purple, gray, blue, red. So base, purple, gray, blue, red. There we go. Sulfine crystal. I wonder if we can spawn him. Uh, could we maybe finally put our arena to use? Shall we try? I think we'll try. Let's see. I watch it. It'll probably just be like Augite only, but it's worth seeing so we can maybe use our arena at long last. Let's find out. Ah, transportation, so much easier when you have flights. Okay, and I could even I could even kill land sharks like it was no big deal since I can fly above them and stuff. All right, let's do this. Let's finally put our arena to use. Maybe, hopefully, fingers crossed that that happens. 
Let's hello. Wow, that's a freaking creeper party if I've ever seen one. Okay, don't blow up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm yourself down there just a little bit. Okay. Good, good. And good, good. Very, very good. <laughs> All right, let's see. In three, two, one, bam. Doesn't work. What do you know? Why am I not surprised? 